Ladies and gentlemen, it's officially happened. We have a new political party and it's called the Party of Islam. Yes, um, considering this is a systemically a Christian country, I wonder how compatible this is going to be. But the timing of it is also interesting. This was uh, announced by the Electoral Commission. Uh, and uh, the interesting thing about this story was that uh, uh, when do you think this party was registered in our country? Oh yeah, days after the Hamas invasion. Uh, so obviously the, 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 the attack and the invasion of Israel was on the 7th of October. Uh, six days later, on the 13th of October, we officially had the registration for this new party of Islam, uh, which I'm going to show you the, the actual announcement uh, by the Electoral Commission, which is quite fascinating what's happening in our country, by the way. The Party of Islam. Um, also, the grammar and spelling is absolutely fascinating here. P part of the UK that that uh, this application applies to is England. Proposed name, Party of Islam, a very original. Proposed descriptions. We are a party who has been created to help all of the minority in the land of Great Britain have a voice. Let me read that again. We are a party who has been created to help all of the minority in the land of Great Britain have a voice. That was barely English, but okay. Second point is brilliant. We, <laughs> we will make sure that all problems which linger in the great country of Great Britain is defeated. I think that means linger, but it does look like linguini. It could, it could be a pasta. I think the problems which are pasta in the great country of Great Britain will be defeated according to the party of Islam. <laughs> I know it's not funny, but it's funny. Um, it's, it's dangerous, but it's also funny. Um, imagine what's going to happen after a, a bit of transition into this new multicultural society that we have. And we still call this country technically a Christian country, systemically at least. Literally, the king is the head of church. That's going to go away. This is the logo, party of Islam. It's a bit blurry, by the way. I don't know why they can't just upload the proper file, uh, a good quality image. Freedom is a must. Yeah. I can assure you, some of the policies that will come from the, the Islamic uh, ideology, I mean, just like we've seen from the le left-wing ideologies that has been spread around for the past few decades, it's going to be very, very dangerous. Censorship is going to be one of the main things. Uh, obviously, destroying free speech is, is is a must as they as they would say and we have to protect ourselves and it's absolutely fascinating how these people are taking themselves uh, about uh, to a level where they could have a platform to do this obviously we are a democracy feel free to start any political party you want but i have a feeling some of the people who take advantage of the, the democratic platform they don't really like democracy they're only using it to win I wonder what happened in uh, Gaza in 2005, 2006. I wonder if a political party called Hamas were elected and what happened afterwards? Oh, same thing in Germany in 1933. What happened after they won the election? I mean, they barely won the election, but you know. But this is the whole point. You have to be careful. There has to be some sort of vetting. And these people are going around and they're going to be destroying all our freedoms. By the way, we already have an, enough enemies, which is the, the authoritarians on this side and the political left on the other side who want to again bring out bring down our values and our freedoms and we have to protect ourselves especially when it comes to censorship don't forget actually good time to give a shout out to our special partners at atlas vpn do you know why because they're actually doing a great job atlas vpn brilliant people absolutely great uh, make sure to get your vpn uh, obviously comparing to all the other uh, vpn companies uh, they do a much better job a full email protection and unlimited devices and everything else but they do actually right now have a very very uh, good uh, uh, campaign for black friday yeah that's the sort of thing apparently uh, for black friday you could get one pound 40 a month on top of that six months extra for free if you uh, get the link in the description below or if you're watching us on smart tv scan the qr code now let's go quickly go back to this because i actually want to focus on <laughs> this logo and as i said i'm completely offended that the, the image is extremely blurry but as Guido Fawkes said, they will be splitting the labor, the labor vote. They will be splitting the labor vote. But how big can they get? We have had attempts like this. We had the, the Islamic Party of Great Britain at some point, which lasted two seconds. Uh, we also have 
the Communist Party of Great Britain. We also have the Socialist Workers Party and this and that. Did you know there's like uh, about 352,000 uh, socialist parties in Britain right now? Um, and a lot of them are hating each other because some of them uh, have decided to integrate diversity into it because they're international so socialists. And some of them are national socialists, not in a German sense, but they are nationalists and socialists. I wonder how nationalist or internationalist this new party of Islam is going to be. I wonder if they're going to be globalist or they're going to be patriotic. Well, clearly, as we said, let's go back to this. They clearly care about, uh, what is it? The great country of Great Britain. And also, all of the minority in the land of Great Britain have a voice. That makes no sense. But we are where we are. Let's also not forget, this is what we are dealing with. They warned us. They told us. This is another preacher uh, on Islamic TV saying the nation of Islam will return. So this video obviously is a subtitle, so um, it's a little bit blurry. Ignore the image, but uh, just uh, read the subtitles. You'll see what the plan is. Ummatun sata'ud, Ummatul Islam. رغم هذا الانكسار, رغم هذا الانكسار. رغم استعلاء الغرب, رغم استعلاء الغرب. فالغرب إلى زوال كما أزال الله مملكة الروم ومملكة فارس سيزيل الله الغرب على أيدي المسلمين هذا وعد جازم هذه الدول التي ترونها ستدخل في الإسلام وسيصل إليها الإسلام yeah apparently the nation of Islam will return the west will be destroyed just like how the Persian empire was destroyed and the, the whole of the west will convert to Islam this is why, kids, you should not get drunk and do a TV report. This, this, <laughs> this guy is mental. Um, but that is the plan. So be on standby. This is what they're doing. For decades and decades, a lot of people have been warning against this. People like Tommy Robinson were crucified for even uh, mentioning this threat. And now suddenly people in the establishment are like, oh, maybe we should talk about this. Where were you all those years ago? And when people like my, my mother were fighting against it, when I was fighting against it for decades, well, not for me, for me it's been a decade and a half, for about 15 years I've been fighting against this. Nothing was mentioned by the mainstream at the time. Anyway, let me know your thoughts uh, in the comment section and don't forget uh, to get your uh, VPNs. Atlas VPN, the link is in the description. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.